There's so much red tape. There's, there's so many things facing Obama right now. He can't deal with them all at once. He's going to need everybody's input and help to uh, change things. Because circumstances aren't going to allow him to do everything that he would want to do. And now we've gone back to that age, to that time of um, saying we're loyalists rather than we are free. Big government, I question considerably. It's like, are they playing God? The people should be more politically involved with the government, and they, they should just depend on the government being doing their thing because it's just better if they get involved because it shows that they care about what happens. <laughs> I don't know. What was it? We don't read about it. Read about what? <laughs> the government? I don't know. The government. So you don't care? No, I care. I don't care. I think I'm too young to do anything about it. Why is that? I just don't think people would listen to me. Why do you think that? I don't know, because I'm a teenager. They probably don't think I pay enough attention to know anything about it anyway. So you just give up just because of that? Why don't you prove them wrong? I don't know. <laughs> I guess you can always try to. Yeah, I don't know. I just haven't. Don't you want to? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I keep trying to. Because I have a lot of stuff to do with like school and homework, and I don't have time to figure out what's going on with the government. I don't, I don't care. Why don't you care? This one's so terrible. Why don't you care then? I never really wanted to care that much about it. It's boring. Cause I... Don't you feel like there needs to be any change at all? I don't know anything about it, so I feel like there's something about it to be able to answer that. But maybe they don't think that if they're just doing it themselves that it won't really make an impact. It's a waste of time. But it, I believe that it's the individual's right if they would like to protest because it's a freedom of speech. It's a freedom of speech in the role of government. And I honestly think that they're wasting their time. Because if they believe that one little sign with a bunch of quotes is gonna change the world, I don't think that's right. I think that um, the government is built on the idea of citizens wanting to be involved and then the government also wanting to work for the citizens. So I think that as long as everybody's working together and people are trying to be involved, whether it means voting or proposing initiatives in just their state or town, then I think that's when things get done. After all, the people elect and pay the government, so the government should work for them. There's one reason why people don't, you know, go on the streets and all that stuff today. People generally, I'm not saying this is a good thing, but people generally worry about themselves and their own problems. I've just seen a lot of bad stuff happen throughout my short 23 years, whether it's in real life or on the news, and people uh, need that help sometimes. A lot of the debate is a fine line between cooperation and domination of the, by the government. I think that the government needs to interact with the people and make sure that there's like things brought from each side to make the entire system work properly and most efficiently. Not everyone can share their voice all at once. But do you think people are sharing their voices? Yes, through their elected representatives who they vote for. I mean, we basically have no choice Choice what we choose to be in it. We're just the voters, or the representatives, or the Senate, or the House of Representatives, or whatever. Basically, whatever role we want to play. Democracy is supposed to be about people, about caring for people, but a lot of people find in our nation nowadays that it's more about money than the people. Slave holding conventions, just, I don't know, just small things, small things lead to big things. That's how it all works. That's how it all starts. We need to say, why have you done this? Why have you done something that 
nobody agrees with and that nobody in their right minds would follow through with. They have their they have their monthly meetings, but they don't have anything set up where it's a big hoo-ha. Let's let's do a big party and meet our town politicians so that they can know exactly what where we stand and what we need. And I think that that would work on a bigger scale too if they put some effort into it. I was never the likeliest candidate for this office. We didn't start with much money or many endorsements. Our campaign was not hatched in the halls of Washington. It began in the backyards of Des Moines, in the living rooms of Concord, in the front porches of Charleston. It was built by working men and women who dug into what little savings they had to get $5, $10, and $20 to the cause. It grew strength from the young people who rejected the myth of their generation's apathy, who left their homes and their families for jobs that offered little pay and less sleep. It drew strength from the not-so-young people who braved the bitter cold and scorching heat to knock on doors of perfect strangers and from the millions of Americans who volunteered and organized and proved that more than two centuries later, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people has not perished from the earth. This is your victory. Obama and me 